Lob City Gaiden, part one. Official novel by Kind Wires, made in 2020. Like they said, uh, no false screen, I guess. Not yet, at least. All right, new game. Here we go. There's the false screen. They say there is a city where the mad go to die. Blob City. Well, you know, we we just played a game uh, which took place in Flop City. Which is pretty interesting, actually, because we played the fourth game first, and then the first, and then the third. It's kind of like two games in a row and are in Flop City, but yeah. While it could serve to be the garbage can of the world, filled to the brim with people who can no longer bear living in their society of origin. Free from any form of law, the depraved and the lost reside. Though as expected, even without the enforcements of law and order, people gather and form their own communities to their own liking. And truth, Flop City is a safe zone for the unfortunate. Refugees who have lost their uh, homes gathered together, no longer pursued by those who wish to pers uh, persecute them. People neck deep in debt, those who face unforgiving punishments, children without aim, all find their place in Flop City. Portland, <laughs> Detroit, New York. <laughs> oh, God. From an outsider's perspective, is hell on earth, cesspool of degeneracy and hopelessness. But if you look inside, you see poor souls holding on to what little meaning there is left to their lives and finding something new to mold out of it, no longer oppressed. Most will find community, they find a home. And those who don't, those who are beyond saving, become but wind in the air. LA, San Francisco. I oh, hate hey, Sylvia. Okay, well, is is that a new character? I don't know. It's been a cold and lonely seven hours. Lousy bus seat aches uh, aches my back and entangles my hair with dust. If you look at the the animated background out of the window, dude. It's like three frames long. Nice. Window view offers nothing but an empty bridge and the faint landscape that I depart from. The stray further, the view of land slowly fades into the endless sea. Oh god. Ah, okay, it's just the bus stopping. <laughs> the entire state of Florida. Oh yeah. An idea who Sylvia is, but her name truly reminds me of Lawyer's Neighbor from the first game. Yeah, but I think her name was Cynthia, right? Yeah, Cynthia. This is Sylvia. It's different. I exit the bus, a lone figure in the dark. Yet a crowd swarms through me as I pass, making their way to fit into the bus door. Faint smell of cigarettes and alcohol. Plenty of alcohol, but still I could tell their clothes have been washed at some point not too long ago. Oh, really? No. Okay. Our state of California. Tourists. They're tourists. Ah, really? Well, they're they're leaving. Uh, they're leaving the city, right? That's why they're uh, actually getting on the bus, maybe. Probably enjoyed the sight of downtown Flop City where it's still remotely safe. Went out for some drinks and then some smoking and they waited for this bus. What else they might have done is beyond my observations. I can make some guesses. This part of Flop City makes rounds as some sort of tourist attraction. Oh really now? Okay. That's weird. Why would you ever go there? Most threatening thing you'd meet is probably some aggressive homeless person or delinquents trying to rob you. Ah, yeah, it's not special. It's like, yeah, it's pretty normal. It's, it's 
pretty like harmless, you know. Yeah. Still considerably dangerous, but also as long as you stayed in groups, you'd be relatively safe. After all, it's nothing compared to the actual city. Fortunately, that's where I'm going. Oh, oh god, no. Door shuts and none is left behind but me as the bus departs. Oh, yep. I'm the only one that's gonna be staying here, I guess. Everyone else just kind of packed up and left. Thus begins this most likely perilous journey. It's a familiar looking bus stop. It used to be barren from what little memory I had of this place is now bearing signs of life. Trees grow over the stop. They surround this area as well. Wonder how many more trees I'll see in the way. Will they indicate how depraved each street is? There aren't any uh, any more trees. It would be a good sign to turn tail and run. Hmm. Someone took Sylvia's nose. Well, I mean, ah, it looks alright. He's looking straight at the cam at the camera, and I mean, you could, you know, draw a a nose if you knew how. That's alright. I don't mind it. You know, there's some people that are like, just like extremely triggered about characters not having noses. I mean, I get it, but I've seen worse. But I'm here to willingly march in, so no luck on my part. Also, it sounded insane thinking about trees. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Of course. You want something nudging against my leg? Oh, God, no. Why? Oh, hey. It's a cat. You took her nose? Why did you take her nose, Mari? How is she gonna smell now? <laughs> yeah, it's a kitty. A cat? Wait. Crouch down and pet the cat. Just a regular cat. Dude, what? How come, dude? That's, that's so weird. Cat is not trying to kill me. Nah, something's wrong. We want to smell stuff in Flop City. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Yeah, she's better off without a nose, trust me. <laughs> nice. Love her face. Hey there, little fella. Seem hungry. Yeah, I was again, clearly begging for food. Well, I don't know if I'll have any food to eat myself. You know. Me too, cat. Me too. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> Start. We started off hungry, of course. Hand the remaining strips of my dried fish snack to the stray, and quickly it snatches it in its mouth. Oh, hey, she she fed her fish, or fed it fish, I guess. Meow. Nice. <laughs> and with that, happily scurries away. Right, fish snack, Jingus and KV are shaking and crying, yep. Good luck, little boy. At least my first encounter was friendly. Oh, well, at least you think. What if the cat turns around and kills you right now? Guess I'm a stray myself, too. Here I am, alone, wandering. Only heaven knows whether or not I'll make out of this trip. It's, uh, it's cated. So I need to get back to the task at hand. Getting to the main city center. Plot twist, the cat would have shanked Sylvia if it didn't get any food. Yeah, it would just turn into a, a fight, you know. And I'd have to fight the cat. Up, down, flop city, they call it. Should see if there are any more friendly faces that could point me the way there. Well, probably not. Probably not. Oh, wait, I got to examine left and right, dude? It's like evolution, dude. I oh, know, actually, I can go left or right and examine. Okay. I gotta say, like, a little animation on the bus. You know, and this cat was animated as well. It's pretty nice. 
some root got you know some root got put into this for sure. Okay, there's two things I can examine. Bus schedule. Only one bus ever comes here and only once a day. Such a long ride here and back, it's a pretty cheap fare. In fact, the returning trip is free. Oh, of course. It's like if you're running away from someone that wants to kill you, you know, the bus the bus will f just, you know, save you for free. It'll just pick you up and get you out of here. Whoever drives the bus must have quite the easy job, though. All you have to do is drive straight on an empty road. Uh-huh. Okay, what about this? What is that? Uh, like, just grass? But a closer glance, you can see there are very faded outlines drawn with it. Chalk. Oh, like, uh, okay. Uh, well, I can't really see it myself, but okay. Must have rained at some point or someone put some soapy water over it. Ah, I see. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go to the right. I don't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> Not even that far in and already the uh, denizens of Flop City are looking weird. <laughs> well, it's Dream. Yeah, and, and a rat as well. 40 meters. Okay. Is that a giant rat? Yep. Think so. And HH doesn't want to talk with me, I guess. Well, actually, I can maybe examine him. Yeah. What? It's a possum. Uh, okay. Whoa, whoa there. Nice full, well, not exactly full, but almost a full sprite. It's like a cowboy shot, I guess. Very nice. Gotta say, like, the, uh, you know, the, the, the art style and everything definitely improved. You can definitely see it. Also, like, look at this, like, animations. Very nice. Where does the violence come from? The possum bites you and steals your organs? <laughs> Probably. Or a rat. Oh, God, HH has a voice. <laughs> oh, God. Good day. Madame was my my seal. <laughs> what kind of word is that? Hello there, dream. Good good day to you to. People around here call me the hoodie hoodlum. Ah, that's what H H stands for. I see. Thought it was Hulk Hogan. Okay. It, 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 it. That's a mouthful, so you can just call me H H. Don't worry, even if they called me a hudlum, uh, hudlum, actually. They were best to keep my hands off dirty work. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Definitely believe that. Can't guarantee my own personal hygiene, though. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's like, eh. <laughs> it's like he's saying, eh. Anyways, you are Sylvia. Sylvia, what a nice name. It is a pretty nice name. Gotta give her that. It, 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 it. Looks as if you're taking an interest in dear Shermie here. <laughs> His name is Shermie. It's a possum. Titled to address a young and unmarried woman. So, a madame. But that's like the whole thing. I don't think I've ever heard, like, I've ever heard anyone say that or seen it anywhere. But yeah, I see. We like to pet her. It's only 10 bucks for 10 minutes. Dude, what? This guy is like... This guy is renting his possum. Are you serious now, Dream? Heard it and you don't even know French except baguette. <laughs> I don't know French at all. I don't have any interest in knowing French. Trust me. Sure we mean this giant rat? So no tanks. I mean yeah, and like 
doesn't help that the possum is female either. Excuse me? Now you dare compare sweet fluffy shroomy to a rat. Rats are terrible creatures that try to eat you in your sleep. Yeah, you also eat the rats, HH. I forget about that. Shermy here is an a pass a possum. Specifically an opossum. Okay. Possum. Yes, yes, they are delicate creatures. Far friendlier than any rat. It it literally hissed at me. Like that's the first thing that did. They love people. Uh-huh. You feed them maybe. Oh yeah. Well. KV and Jingus had to eat burnt alive, I suppose. <laughs> yep. Oops. Right. Yeah, very uh very friendly uh Shermy the Opossum. Seems angry. Huh, I guess Shermy doesn't like you. Well, I don't like it either. Are you a bad person? What? Why the sudden question? Shermie doesn't like bad people. You don't happen to be one of those loan sharks folks, right? Oh, oh goodness. Are you here to beat me up and confiscate my hard-earned wages? <laughs> hard-earned wages? HH? Right. Are you a saleswoman? Are you trying to sell me something? It's even worse. <laughs> of course. Pipe down, you little runt. I'm a detective. Oh, a detective. That's strange. There aren't any laws here. What's the point of investigating anything if there's no court to punish it? I am the law. Guy. <laughs> Private detective. Not from here. Ah, I see. You know, this kind of reminds me of a certain uh, certain detective coming into Flop City. Uh, one game before, you know. Or actually two games before this one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the previous game that we played, but it's the third one, actually. One of those chaotic, uncontrollable types. Well, honestly, I'm pretty controlled by Trump change from every employer. Life is truly a struggle. I used to have trouble with money myself, getting into debts and dealing with loan sharks and whatnot. Wait, are you actually implying that you're not in, in debt right now, HH? It's hard to believe. Yeah, I also brought a green fish with them, yeah. Hmm. So what, are you looking for some missing kid who fled here? It's been some suspiciously young... Vipper and whip, whipper snappers scurrying about the outskirts. How old are you? <laughs> Only if you tell me your age first. <laughs> you just probably beat the depth guys up. I mean, yeah, that's true. This guy doesn't have any problems then. <laughs> ah, well, I'm not exactly at a healthy age to be scurrying around the streets. But hey, I can't exactly be counted as a missing person either. Basically have no life outside of Flop City. At least not anymore. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that, that just sounds sad. I am looking for a missing person. But not to take them back home per se. Simply put, I'm looking for a convict. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Dream is 88 years old. Yeah, exactly. Who might the convict be? Ha hmm. ha, <laughs> the bad people. Whatever they did was real bad. I reckon you'd only find them further into the city. Real nasty place for nasty people. I'll tell you this much. This person did some real nasty things. Yikes. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> what are you gonna do if you find them? It's a free country, everyone's capable of doing terrible things to you just because they can. Trust me, I can handle myself. Well then, good luck. Oh yeah, if you're looking for a way into the rest of the city, there's a train straight ahead there. 
Oh, uh, thanks. No prob. Jeremy and I will continue loitering now. Yes, of course. Of course. Guess talking to the weird fellow wasn't a total waste of time. Alright. Goodbye, I got No, wait, wait, there was something behind my microphone, I didn't see it. What is over there? Station is pretty run down. Not even sure if that train will run properly. Oh, it's the... Yeah, 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 right, right. Hey. Huh? A voice. No. Several voices are heard attempting to speak in unison, echoing throughout the empty station. What? Oh no. Dude, what? <laughs> Is that a fish with limbs? No, oh, those are the worst. Those are the absolute worst, dude. More weirdos. Hey, uh, Missy. Say the weirdos. What do you think you're doing here? Trespass in our territory and all that. I want to use the train. The train, eh? There going to be a problem with that? Better bet your pin-headed son of an ice cream maker there is. I don't have a child. Nor do I make ice cream. We are better in life. There is a one-way ticket to an unmarked grave. Heck, you'd be lucky to even be buried. My well-being doesn't concern you a lot. Now move out of the way. Now we can do, Missy. We're on strict orders to not let anyone in here. Why wouldn't you let anyone in here? It's not like anyone wants to get in either. Right? It's like... You know, it's kind of weird. You know, if anyone's going in there, they're probably on a death wish or something. Trust us, it's for your own good. And we don't want to get violent. Either I, but... Honestly... Third tail and left. Guess we'll just find our way in. Well... That's fine. The walk away, I can hear the conversation continue behind me. That's another life save, boys. Heck yeah, we're far too intimidating. Ah. <laughs> uh, she can't get past us, there's no way she can last an hour out there. Okay, well, these, these guys are actually well-meaning people, apparently. I had Jingus made a good call to put us into this role. Ah, I see. I expect any less from him. He always knows the right man for the right job. Jingus, there's someone gatekeeping the rest of Flop City from visitors. No way these three stooges would <laughs> compromise the identity of their boss. Jig is the mafia boss now? Yeah, probably. Probably Mark. <laughs> Without force, anyway. Maybe the hoodie hoodlum person would be easier to pry from. Hey, hoodie, uh, HH. Two letters. Gotcha. Anyways, hello again. Dom. Oh, it's Madame, but yeah, Madame, Dam Sylvia, I guess. Change your mind on the move to Argus. Argus? That's what that section of Flop City is called. This place may be a, a bit dis desolate, but we've got names. For example, this quaint safe heaven is called Sakana Street, but the entirety of this area is called Striata. I see. Sakana Street? Wait, is that Sakana Street? <laughs> it just hit me. This part of the city has always been called Striata. We claim it with a new name ever since we took over from the Moyai mobsters. We, huh? Yeah, Sakana. Anyways, back to the point. Couldn't board the train to Argus because some buffoons are blocking the way. 
Ah, yeah, those guys. I forgot about them. <laughs> Didn't hurt them, did you? Dom Sylvia. Came close to socking one of them in the face. But now I held back. Aha, I'm glad. Three of them got beaten up often. Sometimes by the tourists that roam around here. All that tough guy talk was a farce then. They do their best. There used to be a time where I was in their position. I stick around here happily lo long longing around with Shermy. Lounging around? Lounging around. Where's that fat rat anyway? Possum. Did I stutter? Sounds like something else, but Sakana is actually the name of an Asian fusion restaurant here. Ah, I see. Well, isn't, isn't, like, wait. Uh, hmm, weird. Like I said the second time, yeah, I figured it is lounging. Sorry. Left her to play with some tourist folks. People love her. Really now? Wanna be scared of the chance of catching flea? Okay, but... Oh, fleas. <laughs> okay, but we're really straying from the topic here. Let's get to the point then. Wanted to ask... How do I get past those three royal guardmen, guardsmen without pummeling them? Hmm. You're a cute girl, I'm sure you'll find a way. Oh, come on now, HH. Excuse me? Did I stutter? <laughs> Did you? It's a joke. I think your best shot is to get the blessing to leave from the big boss of Sakana Street. Thought so. Heard them mention someone named Chingus. Is that who I'm looking for? It's Chingus. When emphasis on the A. Kind of like how the name of Elaine is not A Lane, but E Lane. It was supposed to be E Lane? Oops. <laughs> well, Elena, I'm just gonna call her Elena. Like the, the flying witch. Yeah, and also like Genghis instead of Genghis. It's like Genghis. And yes, he's our great leader. Oh, he's the great leader. He's not the, the mob boss. He's the great leader, okay? Didn't know we were in a socialist state here, HH. Do you know him? Do I know him? Uh, Genghis and I go way back. Basically best buddies. Sure you are. Think you could take me to him then? Well, the important question is, of course, can you trust me? Did Flop City become like communism or something? Yeah. That is a reasonable question. Let me think for a moment. Hmm. You know what? I think you're trustworthy enough. Yeah, there's nothing there's nothing weird going on with HH. Where's the battlefield? The battlefield ended an hour ago. I'm sorry. I mean, 49 minutes ago. 50 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, this is the battle. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It, it. Really now? I'm flattered. It, 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 it. It's not usually the first impression I give people. They're all, what can you do to harm me? Well... Wait, wait. Why do I suddenly sense a spike of malicious intent nearby? Can't possibly H- Ah, it's the rat. <laughs> oh, God, look at her face. Look at her face, dude. Like, the, the sprite work and the animations and everything is, like, very nice. You know, it's it's like... it's 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 gone a long way, dude. For sure. Very nice, kind wires. Yeah. Sure me, no. I randomly attack the nice lady. The possum, not the rat. <laughs> Wait, I can trust you, right? You're nice, right? Because like I said, this is a pot. 
Please, can we just go meet this person already? <laughs> fine, fine. Usually I change people for my guiding services, but... Oh, charge people, sorry. Charge people for my guiding services, but you've been surprisingly nice to me despite your demeanor. By nice, I mean you haven't physically hurt me yet. That happens to you often, HH? Lonzi, let's get a move on now. Okay. Well, I guess we're, uh... Stay put there, Shermie. That's also, like, pretty nice, you know, it's... Oh, hey, look at that. Now, this is quite the sight. And already I'm sick of it. <laughs> well, it looks like... Crowd of people cheering on... Genghis Khan... Fighting a plague doctor. I think. <laughs> okay. An odd-looking man seems to be in a street fight against a large land-dwelling fish with an arm. <laughs> Lonzi means let's go and friend. Oh, really? Okay. Why include so much friend? Well, actually, maybe HH is French. Yeah, maybe that's that's what it is. I was gonna say, why include so many French words? Surrounding them appears to be a large crowd of people. Thirsts, locals, I don't know. This the place? Yep, our gang's crib. Quite the lively bunch, eh? It sure is. What exactly is going on here? You're witnessing the most popular of Flop City's attractions. Oh, really now? Dreams from a non-existent country, that's why it's not missing. I mean, yeah. Well, maybe. It, it. And a classic tradition. It, it. Girls, street fight. It, 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 Here, it, it, there are no it, it, rules it, it. and no boundaries. Get dirty as much as you want and people just enjoy the spectacle. Spectacle? Sorry, I don't know why I'm dragging words. No limits? Sounds like he'll end up getting killed instead. It, it, I mean, yes. It, 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 Sometimes it, it, you're pulled it, it, into a brawl without your consent. Things just go ugly from there. It, it, that was in the old days. It, 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 We've done it, our best to it, make sure none of Flop City's visitors get pulled into a fight. Okay, well that's nice. It, 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 if they it, somehow it, still do, just try to make sure they don't die then. And if they die... It, it, Hey, city of no laws, right? It, it. Can't do much at that point. Flop City is a mix of LA, Chicago, New York, Detroit, and the UK. <laughs> Just the entirety of the UK, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Right. Goodness, you've really been trying to sell me on how this hellhole isn't so bad. It, it. Well, it's my home. Go fish, go fish, kill him. Jingus, go fish, go kill him. <laughs> really riled up, huh? It, it. Looks like it's starting. It, it, it. You're looking forward to seeing it in a fall. Oh yeah, it's always great to see a good fight, right? Goodness, no. Hate violence. <laughs> you begin trading blows. Not sure what it is, but the fight seems very nonsensical to me. <laughs> the battle music, yeah. I mean, they're basically just hitting each other repeatedly. No. I think it's clearly obvious this is very stupid. Come on, Jigus, kill him. All the shouting encouraging them to kill each other really isn't good for my health. It looks... Like both fighters are fighting with some restraint at least. Ah. Oh, it's like WWE, I see. So just like WWE then. Sylvia's a big nerd, yeah. That fish with the giant ripped arm. I think getting cuffed in the face by that thing with full force was definitely would most definitely kill you instantly. Sower! <laughs> oh god. 
The little fart it can't <laughs> Oh god. It does it. Jingus won again. Come on, Jingus, do the thing. Okay. Double. <laughs> Dabs. <laughs> KO, yeah. Did the fish just dab? Oh god. <laughs> this game. Now that's all over, let's head over and speak to Jingus. So Jingus is the fish, huh? Yep. Bet you feel more uh, estranged than ever before, huh? Giant walking and talking fish? Really out of this world, don't you think? Ah, this isn't my first time. Oh, oh. Guess for any other regular person, this kind of would be absurd. I just happen to personally know a giant land-dwelling talking fish. Hmm. Oh god, I wonder who she's talking about. <laughs> oh yeah, could it be the world-famous fish? And goodness does he talk. Huge arms is new though. No, the huge arm is new though. This fish has that going at least. Quite peculiar. Reckon you have no trouble communicating with this fish then. Sure hope so. Best girl KB, oh yeah. Oh ho! Those are lovely new guests, HH. There he is, in the flesh. Big Kahuna of Sakana Street. A large fish. Speaking of flesh and fish, I've been really hungry since I got here. So Sylvia! She's here for important matters with you, Jingus. I see. Let's establish a pact of trust first. I am Jingus Khan Fish. Fish is your last name? That's correct. Sylvia, please don't eat Jingus. Yeah, I got the same feeling like she's just gonna eat Jingus for no reason. And Jingus Khan? Like the Warlord? With an A? Right, with an A. <laughs> And you are? Pretty sure the little green kid already said my name. He's not call me a kid. <laughs> May not seem that way, but I'm sensitive about my heights. Aw, oh, poor guy. <laughs> World name, Sylvia. Told you mine, so it'd be nice you told me yours. You can trust me with your full name, that would mean a lot to me. Oh yeah, that's a good litmus test. Let, let's just ask for a full name, that, that would show him. They'll definitely show them. Jingus ends up being a douchebag or something? Nah, I don't think so. Eh? Does it really matter that much? Oh, come on, it's just the name. What arm could do? Yes, you're right. Sylvia Pardalis. Now, oh, what is her name? <laughs> Pardalis? I liked it. Uh, are you supposed to like it? I actually had a last name. <laughs> Good lumps my last name now, I guess. Something about the name sounds familiar, though. For Dallas. Beg of you, please don't suddenly discover a connection I'm not aware of. I'll never mind that now. You are here for my help. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm trying to board the train to Argus. Argus, I see. Dallas, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And pray tell, what business do you have there that's so important you'd risk your life for? <laughs> Sylvia is a detective, Jengus. <laughs> Came here looking for a crook. Aha! So your strong sense of justice is strong enough that you'd chase a fall criminal even into the depths of hell. Truly admirable, madame. Dallas, I commend thee. Yes, my uh, sense of justice. Let's go with that. Uh, <laughs> cuff. Almighty Genghis Khan, will you give me your blessing to embark on the journey to Argus so that I may strike down the villain of, of, of unforgivable sin? Well, is indeed righteous, Madame Pal Ballard. Colored this. 
propeller this? <laughs> That's for Dallas. However, though, you have my trust and my belief. Now you must prove to me that you're capable of surviving the cruelty of Flop City. Excuse me? Here I come, Sylvia Perdalis. Out of the last. <laughs> what the hell are you- Ow. Oof. Yeah. Did you just punch me? Well done, you successfully managed to dodge my fish knuckle. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank god she, uh, she actually dodged that. Slimy bast. You could have warned me that you were going to throw a punch. When Jengus flew past me with a bunch, some of his slime that's normally found on a fish skin flew off. The speed he was moving at. Oh god. Like, literally slimy. Poor J Did he actually hit HH? <laughs> Poor HH. <laughs> well, he deserves it as well. Of course it got onto me instead. It's so wet and icky. For a moment I thought my addiction of eating fish would... Oh, he finally repaid in the form of a lethal punch to the face from a fish. And yet I still feel hungry just looking at Jenkins. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that was HH? Oh god. It just, right off the bat, just hit HH. <laughs> okay. That and the fish slime, it's a feeling that I'm all too familiar with. Hate it. Wait. Wait a second, why is, why is Sylvia familiar with being slimy? Ah, uh, never mind. Alright, anyways. I was expecting expected to say. Besides, I know of telegraphed it. Ah, I kind of telegraphed it, didn't I? I'll shut your... Uh, wait. Are you alright, HH? Nah, it's dead. Okay, it's alive. Several of my face bones are most likely broken. Powdered to dust. Otherwise, I've never been better. Shall we get going, Sylvia? Guess I'll need you to come along to show this buffoons at the station that I've got your permission. Let's not waste any more time. Fantastic. Do go on ahead. I'll just... <laughs> Seriously, is it gonna be okay? He's been hit by worse. Yeah, he just collapses on the ground. <laughs> He's just gonna leave him... Yep. He's gonna leave him behind, of course. Approach the empty station again. Not even a sound is heard. Yet I knew very well those weirdos are hiding behind those pillars. Uh, lo lollygagging about. The moment anything makes a noise in the station, devoid of sound, they will definitely spring into action. Perhaps if I took my steps quietly, they won't be able to hear me. Maybe I could have sneaked my way through like that earlier. I already lived through that uh, the trouble of picking up this fish and almost getting decked in the face. Might as well face those three again. Hey! You hear the sound of people fumbling about, rummaging through what sounds like snacks. That sounded like a trash can, but okay, whatever. Or garbage, yep. <laughs> Could be both. Uh, not really. Lollygagging is basically just doing something useless. Which is that? Ah, I see. A lollygag. It's that just sounds wrong. A lollygagging. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Hello there, weirdos. Hey you. Hey you. Hey you. Back again. I think you can pursue proceed us with your womanly charms. Oh god. <laughs> well, I've never been considered to be charming by people. Sometimes I wish I were. <laughs> oh, really, Sylvia? Well, you three, she's with me. Boss, boss, boss. I see. So she has proven herself worthy of Genghis Khan's protection. Of course you can pass. Oh, just like that. Okay. Oh, that takes care of that. Onwards to Argus. After you, Sylvia. Excuse me? Yes, uh, we're going together. Oh wait, really? Where's flower? I don't know. Hope you don't mind. For real now? Thought it'd be better if I see you off once the train makes it uh, to Argus. Just to make sure you don't regret your first 
five minutes there. No offense, I'm sure you can watch out for yourself. Yes, I can. Just say our goodbyes here and now and part ways, shall we? And says Sylvia. I'll be guided there just for the sake of my fish of mind. <laughs> my fish of mind, huh? You mean peace of mind? Fun sounded better in my head. Well, fine. Better not do anything strange in this train. What did even think of it? Alright, we're going to Argus, I guess. We're going to the worst place ever. Do you look at this? It's like an animated scene and then the train, and like, he popped his hand off. His arm is off for some reason. Farewell, Sakana Street. Make my sticky, uh, st stickly. <laughs> Make my stickly legs kiss the tainted sidewalks once more. Saying that is if you might die. Train is moving at a steady pace despite the clearly aged look. Feels very different riding in this compared to a modern day train. Red Sylvia almost falling off the seat. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that is true. That is true. But she doesn't want to touch the sticky fish, so, you know. She just looks over the window, standing on its seat with its bizarre stick like legs. Its muscle arm detached from its fishly body, and laying still against the train wall. Still continuously slaps me <laughs> in the face. He gazes upon the train with a uh, window view of Flop City. Is he amazed or is he worried? What does this fish know about the horrors of Flop City? One thing's for sure. He knocks my hat off. Somehow he's dead. Any idea when we'll reach there? About 20 minutes. It's quite a slow train. Sir, just slow, huh? A lot of trains barely take a few minutes getting to their destinations now. My knowledge, Argus isn't very really far away from here, is it? You're right on that. That's interesting, though. I'd like to ride a real fast train one day. Put it on my bucket list. Or if I ever get out of there. I want to sound rude, but what's stopping you from leaving Flop City? I'm a, I'm a fish, Sylvia. Hardly consider a person. Yeah, poor Jingus. Jingus will literally have fish living among us as civilians. Granted, there are only one of them. Oh, there's only one of them, but this fish has rights. Has human rights. As weird as it might sound. My case is quite different, you see. Your case? Are you aware of the legends of Flop City, Sylvia? I know it's true. The city itself radiates some sort of hidden presence. That very presence is what turns everyone into whatever they are now. Like an unknown power overtaking them and forcing them into a primordial form. But I guess I'm different. I was created in a labor uh, laboratory, Sylvia. Biologically engineered to be a weapon of mass destruction. Created for the sole purpose of harnessing the mysterious power in Bob City's air. Oh god. <laughs> it's like... Dude, it's like his, his, like, you know... Biologically engineered, dude. It's like solid stick. <laughs> Gotta go to lunch? Alright, Gok. Sorry to hear that. Well, I'm gonna be wrapping it up. Like, now. Basically. So, yeah. Well, thanks for joining Gok. It was a good time. And, uh, yeah, enjoy your lunch. Is Cynthia dead? Well, maybe. Yeah, you're missing a masterpiece. I mean, you can always watch the bot. You know, it'll, it'll be there. It won't go anywhere, Gok. If you, if you want, you can just watch it till the end. You have to jump off the Jun train. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you might... Oh, you might have to jump off the junk train? Oh, what is that? <laughs> what are you implying there, Gok? <laughs> oh, yeah. For real now? Wherever I put on that arm, I could feel that very essence of this demonic city train to take me over. Jump off the junk train a long time ago. KV is best girl. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 
though, because it is a separate to my actual being, I'm able to control the power. And I have an iron will. Those who reside in Flop City with weak minds, they see things. Horrible things. Things that break them. Makes them submit to whatever demands them to change. Demands them to change. Craved and the sorrowful weak. <laughs> weak. Seek saving in the city. Only to become victim victims to maddening. I was gonna say, like, it's even like it's even worse, you know, when you get into the city. Alright, bye Gok. Thanks for hanging out. Be sure to watch the rest of the VOD, please. You don't wanna miss this. I also took her butt mouth. Yeah, she doesn't even have a mouth anymore, just eyes. But yeah, you know, it's it sounds like I mean these 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 people are like trying to, you know, find salvation in Flop City, and instead they just go off even worse. You know, they go off being even worse. I was created to rule over them. We, the strongest warlord of Flop City, but I rebelled against my creators, and I swore to fight against the city and discover the source of ruins and sanity. What are you fighting for, Red Dallas? Dropped a huge bob on me, Jengus. Honestly, I don't find your goal to be absurd. I told you that my client would have paid me enough to clear me of all my student debt and rent. Probably be disgusted. <laughs> That'd be pretty embarrassing if you ask me. So I'll tell you this instead, Jinx. Couldn't care less about finding this convict than my client so endlessly demands me to do so. No amount of money will ever be worth coming here. Something important here that I'm looking for. Ah, really now? Search up a part Dallas, and that's the scientific name for a leopard tortoise. Ah, I see. Stigmo chillis by Dallas. It's a turtle. I see. Yeah, very interesting name. Important to me. Someone dear to me. Do you do indeed have a hidden agenda coming here? To my surprise, it is much more uh, righteous than your fa uh, facade. Pride of you, Sylvia Perdalis. Well, say I do find this criminal's comment, gladly take the money as a bonus. Searching for my friend is the most important thing to me right now. Surprised. For a detective, you sure don't stay true to your duty. Not really keeping much under the war, are you? Well, I am a private detective. But it's true, my personal emotions tend to get in the way a lot when I do things. Uh, Sylvia is basically a nerd turtle. <laughs> but it's a trait I'm rather pride, proud to have. Besides, I think I can trust you, Jengus. Might not look like it, but their origins are pretty similar. But pardon me. <laughs> are you genetically engineered, Sylvia? Let's keep that story for another time, though. Yeah. And, uh... That other time... We'll have to come... Did I actually say yeah, that? We'll have to come another time. Yeah. It's all the time I had for today.